welcome to the Knight Farmhouse. I'm Leanne. Today we're taking part in Air Fryer February, a collaboration where 14 different channels is going to show you one recipe every day this month using your air fryer. Thanks to Marianne at Pepper Peppery for this collaboration. And I'll drop the playlist down below for you for your viewing pleasure and see what all the other great channels are showing you how to use your air fryer. If you're new to my channel, I do cooking and baking from scratch, canning and dehydrating videos. And if that sort of thing interests you, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if you find value in this video, hit the thumbs up. I really do appreciate it and it helps my channel to grow. Today, we are making three different kinds of shrimp, three different ways in the air fryer. We're making shrimp scampi, bacon wrapped shrimp, and coconut shrimp. And if that sounds good, let's get to it. We're gonna start with a simple shrimp scampi. All you need is a little melted butter and a cast iron skillet that fits into your air fryer. And we're gonna place the shrimp in the cast iron skillet. Then we're gonna just sprinkle some granulated garlic on top. Then we'll place it in the air fryer. I would say maybe a quarter of a teaspoon if you need an actual measurement. No more than that, unless you really like garlic like I do and don't care how much garlic you put on. You'll want to place it on the lowest rack possible in a oven style air fryer. And since I'm using 21 to 25 count shrimp, I'm going to set it for 10 minutes at 375. Then it, when it signals that it's halfway done, you want to pull out the tray and flip them over and restart the air fryer for another five minutes. So it virtually takes, what, 11 minutes to have this kind of food on your table. So we're just going to pre-cook our bacon for our bacon wrapped shrimp just because bacon cooks a lot longer than a shrimp. So we're just going to place it on the rack in the middle here and we're going to do it for eight minutes. When it's a halfway point you want to pause your air fryer, pull up the tray and quickly turn these over. Then I'll pause it to keep cooking. Our bacon is definitely far cooked. So we're gonna let this cool down for a couple minutes and pat it down some and clean this strip pan out and we'll get to wrapping some shrimp. All right, how many of you would think this is actually done bacon? <laughs> when I was a kid and didn't know what I was doing and cooking for myself because my parents were out in the barn, I would burn it black because I thought that was the best. <laughs> now I know better. I think I like mine a little bit darker than that <laughs> now, but yeah, I've come a long way in cooking. <laughs> All right, we're going to take our paper towel and blot it. All right, you're going to want your shrimp and some toothpicks. I used two per piece of shrimp. That way you know it's on there. All right. So take your nice piece of shrimp and just wrap it around. And I'm gonna put mine in this handy dandy rotating basket for the air fryer and the air fryer it's so easy and if you're having people over it wouldn't take any time at all as long as you had the ingredients all right so using your retrieval tool you just want to put your basket to the left and to the right Plug it in and we're going to put it on rotisserie. That way it will cook evenly. You won't have to flip it halfway and we'll be back when this is done.
came out. These are the bacon wrapped shrimp, okay. and this is shrimp scampi. Okay. Very good. Looks good. That's why I couldn't wait for you to get home. Where are you going? Huh? You gotta eat the bacon wrapped one yet. I'm gonna do that stand up. Well, I'll take the toothpicks out. To make a copycat version of Outback's dipping sauce, you'll need a half a cup of orange marmalade. And since I don't know how to make orange marmalade, I get the next best thing from a Mennonite bulk food store. A quarter cup of raw honey and a quarter cup of sweet chili sauce. To the pan, we're going to add our orange marmalade, our sweet chili sauce, and our honey. Then on a low medium heat, we're going to stir this. And I use a silicone wire whisk. This might come together in five minutes. This recipe yields a cup of sauce, and for safekeeping, it will keep as a jelly or jam. For coconut shrimp, I will be using 21 to 25 count shrimp. You can use 31 to 40 count shrimp, about eight ounces. You want them deveined and peeled. Two tablespoons of milk, an egg or two, three fourths of a cup of coconut, two tablespoons of melted butter, a half cup of all purpose flour, a half a cup of panko breadcrumbs, and salt and pepper. To get started, you want to pat the shrimp down using a paper towel. You don't want any excess water on the shrimp. Flour will adhere to it. Maybe some excess tails that might need to come off. Once the shrimp are dry, you want to add your shrimp to a clean, dry bowl and add the salt and pepper. I'm adding a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. And if you have a bowl that has a lid, this part's easy. You want to toss and combine. And you might want to shake it like somebody owes you money. Or at least... Then you want to set up your dredging station. Your flour goes in one pan. So add your egg. And beat it. And add your milk in. Then to your breadcrumbs, you want to add your coconut and your melted butter. And with a new fork, you wanna coat your breadcrumbs and your coconut with the butter to mix it evenly. While the tray is over the sink, you wanna spray your tray. That way you have less cleanup. Make sure you get around the outside. So that's where you'll be putting the shrimp. So with your first tan, you want to coat the shrimp in the flour, make it go for a little dusting, then dip it in the egg and milk, get it all slobbered up. Then with your other hand, you're going to press the breadcrumbs and the coconut into to make it stick. Make sure to put the coconut shrimp on the outside perimeter of the wire basket. All right, we got two trays of coconut shrimp ready for the air fryer. Now first we want to just gently spray them with spray to make them look crispy when they come out. And you want to put it on the middle and bottom rack. We're gonna bake for nine minutes.
Take notes, my air fryer doesn't need preheated. Most air fryers will tell you to preheat, but this, no time at all. All right, at the halfway point, you wanna rotate your trays. Start again. There we go. Coconut shrimp from the air fryer. Now, doesn't that look good? Oh my, I'm excited. Just because I know what they're going to taste like. And this sauce. Yeah. All right, let's see if I can eat this homemade food pretty. Mm. Mm. Yeah, this is. That's pretty good. Thank you so very much for watching. If you've made it this far into the video, I'm sure you're loving the content of this channel. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment on each video. May I suggest watching this next? Until next video, take care and God bless.